Hello ladies and gentlemen, Griffler here and welcome back to Stable Orbit. So, we're gonna do the tutorial again. Tutorial, would you like a tutorial that teaches you the basics of how to play Stable Orbit? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if you haven't watched the last video, you didn't miss anything because we just did the tutorial and we, we lost. Welcome, welcome to your new station commander. We have previously launched the core module, which offers some basic support and acts as the main hub for your station. Next. Navigation. To rotate the camera, we know this. Press and hold the left mouse button anywhere, or anywhere outside of the station. You can zoom in or out using the mouse wheel or the up and down arrows. Construction. The core module is equipped with a number of common birthing mechanisms. What, what's this actually? Birthing mechanisms. Or CBMs. These CBMs act, I guess, I guess they are talking about those. These CBMs are, act as extension ports for your station, where you can construct new modules. Left click on any CBM to open the, construct, the construction menu. Yes, that's it. Where well, you may be tempted to build a laboratory or habitation module as your first extension, we should focus on building Building up essential structure. Whoa. We should. <laughs> well, you may be tempted to build a labor. Well, you may be tempted to build a laboratory or habitation module as your first extension. We should focus on building up essential support structures first. Even a single lab will, will soon exceed the limited support capabilities of the core module. The thing is, last time we just lost because we didn't have this. We didn't have the. I mean, we didn't have the. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? The, 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 this one, the shuttle dock stuff. So I guess what we're gonna do is we are just gonna, we're gonna do everything, everything that they ask while being posed, and then we're gonna build the shuttle dock. So let's begin by increasing the number of extension ports available to us and build a medium trust. Actually, we are gonna build the medium trust, then do everything post and then build the shuttle dock. So medium truss, uh, should we do it the same? Where, where is my frame rate? What, what, my frame rate, my frame rate, my frame rate! <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I was, I was actually to, uh, trying to look if I had other application. I mean, stuff like grunting stuff in the background, but no, it's perfectly fine like this. But when you open something, it's not fine anymore. So for some reason, the, the construction panel makes you lose like tons of frames per second. Anyway, 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 let's do that trust. And I was before I was like, uh, let's not build the same. But actually, it, it started really well with the trust right here, I think. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a trust here, and then we're gonna put uh, more habitation. I mean, more pressurized stuff. Uh, that way, but that's not for now at all. Anyway, so let's begin by increasing the number of extension ports available to us and build a medium, a medium truss. Yep, don't shut up, dog. Did I miss this? Wait a second, I missed it! I missed it! I missed it! I missed it! Last video! Last video! Oh! <laughs> The second thing we need is a shutter dock. If sufficiently powered and not damaged, shutter docks will, will be regularly visited by supply posts, carrying essential supplies, and most importantly, the crew necessary to man your station. Important, the shutter dock must be connected to the core module. Crew members cannot travel through unpressurized trust structures. What? But I just edited the last video and I didn't even realize that I... I I made the mistake here. Even on the edit, I didn't realize it. Whoa! Oh, God, I need some sleep here. <laughs> Transport shuttle dock. A sup let's, let's build it right now. A supply shuttle will visit this shuttle dock once every 14 days to go supply the station with food and water. Additionally, if free quarters are available, the supply shuttle may drop off new crew members. Bye! Good. We, we good, we, we're good. Now we're gonna be able to do this. Power! We're beginning to draw, what? We are beginning to draw more power than the solar panels and the core module can provide, which are nothing. Also, our station loses power as soon as the sun goes down. 
Or maybe, maybe this is nothing because we don't have a battery. I still have, I still don't understand this. Build a small, oh, 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 something here. Build a small solar panel to increase our capacity to draw power from the sun. Additionally, build some batteries to store the power needed to get us through the night. So we're gonna just put one solar panel this time. So here, and the batteries are gonna be here. Batteries. Batteries capable of storing up to zero kilowatt. -er. That's nice batteries here. Okay, so next. Radiators. Yep, we want radiators too. We're gonna build one radiator here. So, our next problem is heat dissipation. The cooling capacity built into the core module is no longer sufficient to dissipate all the heat that our station components produce. Build a radiator to bring the cooling capacity up to acceptable levels. Where are you, radiator? Here you are! Next! Storage! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Our supplies are dwindling! Let's add some modules to expand our storage capacity. Let's build oxygen tanks, water tanks, and a food storage module. So, food storage module here. Where is it? Here! Food storage module. This module can store up to zero meals for the station crew. Dun, dun, dun. And water tanks and oxygen tanks are gonna be there somewhere. So I guess uh, I really want to put to put another truss here, but not, we're not gonna do it. So water tank are gonna be there. Water tank. The, there. This water tank can store up to zero liter of pure water. Water is used by the OGS modules to produce oxygen and. With it, breathable atmosphere for the station crew. Crew are so drink plenty of water during the day to remain sufficiently hydrated. No, I'm not repeating myself at all from the last video. <laughs> all right, let them come. Let them. Okay, all right, all right. Boosting station altitude. Let them being constructed. We just need this also, which is gonna be um. What did we? Okay, oh, oxygen, oxygen tank. Oxygen tank, these these high pressure oxygen tanks can store up to 18 kiloliters of uncompressed oxygen. Nice, nice, nice. So build everything, build everything, little station, build on yourself. <laughs> the station is being built out of nowhere. But it's fine, but it's fine. It's totally totally okay. So next, upgrade. Let's click on any module to open the module status panel, which displays the properties of the module and and shows the current consumption, production, and storage levels. The module station panel also grants access to module upgrades. Let's use module upgrades to further increase our oxygen supply. Select the oxygen tanks and left click on one of the upgrade buttons to add an, an additional oxygen tanks. Yep, that's not you. Oxygen tanks, you? No, water tanks? Oh, oxygen tanks might be not this one, right? Yeah, food storage. Oxygen tanks, but it must be the only one that are, are not yet built. Yep, here, and let's build another oxygen tank. So nice, next. Now that we have our bases covered, let's expand into research. Build a small lab, like this, build a small lab. Okay, we're gonna build a small lab here. So here, small lab. This is really expensive. One crew member may perform scientific research in this mo module. And now we are ready, actually, guys. We are ready to, to actually expand Further, uh, I mean, we, we can actually get more fund once that once that laboratory is gonna be up. This this really looks weird though as a station. Okay, next research. Once the first lab is constructed, yeah, yeah. Calm down, calm down. It's it's constructing right now. Once the first lab is constructed, you gain access to research. Left click on the research button in the status bar to open the research window. <laughs> I'm gonna need, need to wait this. Okay, acceleration mode. Wait, wait, where is it already? It's here. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be here. Oh, oh, solar panel and Oh, 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 a shuttle pod, a shuttle pod, oh. Yay, <laughs> we got our first pod. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Pretty good, pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. <laughs> Even if we're not doing anything uh, yet, we should have someone here. Yep, we got Bill Grant. This is our first... Yeah, okay, <laughs> the supply pod has left the station. So this is our first, uh, not tourist, but passenger. 
Ok, come on, come on, build this. I need to accelerate this a little tiny bit. And... Built! Ok, the custard window, so this is gonna appear here very soon, yep. The custard window consists of three queues. The inbox, we should be this one behind, shows new contracts that are on offer. Accepted is the queue of research contracts available while completed shows you a list of recently completed contracts. Left click on the accept button. This one, I guess. Yep, can't even get what's behind. Of one of, or, or, of one or more contracts in your inbox. Well, this one is gonna be more alone. Crew members will utilize the available labs to work on the contracts in your accepted crew. Go for in order. I still, I still don't get how to pronounce that sentence. <laughs> that sentence, right? Labs may specialize in one of several research topics, which will result in more lucrative contracts being offered to your station. Nice. So they should do this. In habitation, in order to expand our crew, we need to add habitation modus. Build a small hub to increase the crew capacity from one to three. You may also need to add other supporting modus to ensure that power, supplies, and cooling are all still sufficient for your growing station. All right. Um, how not to, to, to all mess it up? <laughs> I guess we, I mean, we need, we need another, another core here. I mean, not core, but another pressurized node so that we can put more stuff here. But this is really expensive. That stuff is going to give us really not a lot, honestly. And can we, can we, can we, I mean, hey, big grant. Can we actually perform several experiments at once in a small lab? One crew member, okay, so no. So what is the point of getting more? What is the point of getting more crew member for now? New research contracts. Take it then! So this one will study the effects of gravity on muscle mass development in small vertebrates. Basic level. And this one, take frequent infrared and visible light images of the various land masses with an emphasis on forests, grasslands, and agricultural fields to aid farmers and rangers in making agricultural management decisions. Basic level. This one gives us a lot, almost 700 million dollars. We're gonna take this one. That said, the, um, the biggest, the number here, the biggest the reward here is usually the, the, the longest it's gonna take to, to make that, uh, to, take, to, to accomplish that contract. So, not always super efficient. But for now, hmm, I guess we're gonna build here, but I'm a bit reluctant to do this, because if we do this now and we don't manage to achieve that contract fast enough, we're gonna be in depth somehow, and what's gonna happen is that our, our station is gonna be damaged. Uh, I mean, we need we need to, to pay for, for group, uh, group fees or something, but anyway, let's do this. Hmm, let's do this, yeah. <laughs> Build. What? Well, it cost four, four hundred millions to build a node, and to build an habitation, it cost. Oh, <laughs> they ask us to build a small hub, a small habitat. The small habitat houses up to two crew members. We can't do this anywhere. We need, we need to get to to do this until we get a thousand five hundred. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna do this out of camera. I mean, out of uh, recording, and with a bit of luck, this is gonna be enough. But whoa, no, this is never gonna be enough. Okay, need to, I guess, to get more contracts than this. So gonna take some time of uh, farming contracts, I guess. Oh, first go search completed. Okay, good. Oh, we get another one. And this is the same, but this doesn't give us a lot at all. I guess it's still still better than nothing. So yeah, gonna leave it there for that video and come back when we will be able to build. Uh, one node and one habitat. Uh, so yeah, gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching everyone and I see you next time. Peace out.